Hey you guys, it's Summer S'mores and I am jumping right back into it. I just got off and then just literally I'm just recording right again so that's why I'm in the same clothes and everything. So she's, I just had to get her, it looks a little different because when I got off she was at a, she was at the campsite and then I did a few things off because I didn't want to make the part too long. So really the only thing you missed was she was dreaming and Kay came in her dreams and said that I was going to be doing something. And then Nook is outside my tent. So that's the only two things you missed. And, well, and then I got the cot. So that's the only two things you missed. So I'm going to leave my tent a little messy and then we're going to go see Nook outside my tent. Oh, there you are. I hope I, you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was more than that, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. I slept that long? Oh, yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip. It had a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? A cell phone? It's your very own Nook phone. I had this made especially for our island residents. Ah, I want to make this... I want to make sure it's working right. So could you try turning it on for me? Hmm? Good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. Bossy. Have you ever used a smartphone before? Sure have. Very good. Then th this should be a breeze for you. In fact, these Nook phones are rather easy to operate than no ordinary phones. Oh, yes. We simply remove most of the features. Oh. Dang. I have one more thing for you. It's your itemized bill. Really, Nook? Really? Really, Tom? You couldn't have waited. You couldn't have waited. And this includes everything, airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your nook phone. <laughs> Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. <laughs> well, I mean 49,800 bells. Okay. Yes, yes. Well then, wait! You don't have any bells. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think of this. Ah, of course. Well, no need to worry. Prepared for, I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. For the gateway package, you can pay the fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I call this extremely helpful situation, I mean, this helpful service, the Nook Miles Program. I guess we have to ask what the note no, no. Well, it's quite extraordinary, if I do say so myself. <laughs> With the Nook Miles Pro Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on... Sorry, I just got back on and didn't have time to find the pronunciation, so ignore my last thing. I don't know the correct pronunciation. <laughs> I do say, the more you enjoy your island living, the more Nook miles you earn. You can use them to pay back your move-in fees. So the bottom line, you need 49,800 bells to move in fees with the new service. Would you believe it only comes to 5,000 miles? I'll just go ahead and register so you can pay a month. Just open Nook Miles app. You can see that you've earned the miles for just traveling in the island and joining the program. Now if you'll excuse me, I must get back to the few other matters. 
but let me heartily congratulate you once again for your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of our island and a client of Nookin. I know I got a little monotone there at the end. I was just trying to read faster. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! Okay, so I've already got mail. From now on, island time will match the flow of the time of the real world. I got to touch the power button and da 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 Then try the various presents such as next night. And then back. Okay. Yay! Got some. Okay. Got some mail. Congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy the new island life to celebrate the fresh start. We'd we'll like to give you a gift that sure will come in handy. And then, just real quick. Thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please remember to keep an eye out for future updates as well. See, in the other one, I got the, um, I got the switch in the game. I got the um, Animal Crossing Switch, but I don't think I'm going to get that one in this one. Yeah, no, because I don't have the Animal Crossing Switch. Because I'm not playing on an Animal Crossing Switch. Oh, she doesn't know how to memorize the animals yet. Okay, anyways. So, let's go explore. Not much we can do yet. And then what else can we do for Nook Miles that way? One of the goals of Nook Inc. is residence togetherness. Our gregarious greetings innovates aim in, sorry, good God, aims to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with residents. Hmm, A campfire was a lot of fun. We're keeping residence services open at night. So feel free to oh shoot, I did not mean click the button. I'm so weird. For the time being, I'll be out and check and about checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop and chat. Is goat out? Oh the goat. For any of you who don't know who that is, it's Billy. Oh, the DJ now. Yo, Yo Margo. I'm getting a real good vibe from that temp plot you picked for me. Thanks for the hand. We've got to look out for each other here. If you ever need anything, don't be shy. What else? Oh, yeah. I was thinking about, I'm thinking about how to thank you, and I came across a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Okay, so the first thing I saw when I, when I got here was, now that's a lot of weed. That's kind of where I got the idea, it's a DIY project. If, if you've never done a DIY project before, you should go ask Tom to help you out. 
He's doing free DIY demos over at the resident services. That reminds me, we need to go talk to someone no. in the resident services area. Ah, oh, Margo, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's fun how cozy doesn't mean, always mean comfortable, hmm? Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time in on this island or anything else. If you need some advice on, about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help your... He can help you... Pro wow, I really can't read. Don't ever ask me to read to some kids or anything. He can help you so procure some of the essentials for thriving in our in our little paradise. And if you want to earn some bells, he has a rather gen a generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yes, yes. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out our island experience. I think it would be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it. Yes, yes, that is the question. Uh, I've got just the thing. You have yet to attend one of my DIY workshops. Once you get it going, the DIY, you'll really open some new doors. I dare say it's crucial to the island living. And of course, the workshop is completely free, no hidden fees. I do recommend it highly. I guess we'll do the free DIY workshop real quick. Hopefully that can do the free... Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for the island living. Hmm. So shall I put you down for the next available session? Yes, yes, that the island is free. It happens, I happen to be free right now, at this very moment. So let's get started. Welcome to the DIY workshop. I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit. When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials for a recipe, then craft using a workbench like this one. Today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using con common materials that you can find anywhere, yes? For the particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little fun. Now then, come see me once you collected the materials, hmm? I think I already have the materials. Yes, I have six. Oh, Margo, you found the necessary materials, hmm? Well then, let's get started on the crafting the fishing rod, yes? Begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes, hmm? And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you. Free of charge, naturally. Thanks, Tom. Because I have no bells. I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? No, of course not, since they're free. Poop, poop, poop. Splendid! Thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. 
flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Fishing. I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips. In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line, yes, yes? I would love to see anything you manage. I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm not quite curious about. Oh, I'm quite curious about the local fauna. What does fauna mean? Maybe I'm just dumb. Oh, how could I forget? I should give you a brief explanation about the terminal. Of course. You can. That is our nook stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island. Budget. At the moment, you can use two services, Margo. The first is not sh nook shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on the island. Second is the terminal service as the automatic bell dispenser, or ABD, for the bank of nook. We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem nook miles for various, for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services, quite beneficial indeed, yes, yes? Well, that's really all I wanted was the 50 things, because I knew I could get that. Is there anything in here? Oh, I should give you a brief introduction about that box too? Oh my gosh. Beginning this game is so hard. That's a recycle box for all the island residents to use. We'll be using it for items, re for items removed during construction. Yes, yes. If you see anything you feel you like, feel free to take it right on home. If the box gets full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first. So don't delay on picking out what you want. I mean, there's really nothing in there besides a cardboard box and a tree branch, so... And I promise I will get better at reading, I just, this is my first let's play where I've had to read so much. So I promise I will get better. It's just, I've never had to read this much in a let's play. And it's just, I'm stuttering so much. But I promise I will get better and bear with me. So. There you go. Let's see if we can at least catch one fish before we're done in this let's play. Oh, let's learn these real quick. I think these scaredy fish are just afraid of my huge bulging muscles, Dag Nabbit. I love goats. I'm 
mean, his name is Billy, but he's a Billy Goat, so I call him Goat. But look at him, he's so cute. Gosh darn it. I mean, Darrell is cute too. Or they're, they're, they're real, they're, they're real, they're, Desiree? Desiree, or Desiree. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names right now because I just, these are brand new. And then let's check out our, our board. Island residents and visitors alike should feel free to use the rules and board to communicate with each other. Okay. Let's see what we can get in the room. Oh, Deirdre. Okay, so Deirdre, I need to think of a better name. But I will call her Deirdre. Anyway, so. I hate that I don't have my stick yet. I can cross open. And then I need to go get like Every day I'm gonna have to collect stones. I think there's this fish to him, so maybe I can get it. Like I said, I'm just gonna have to explore and we got and we can do that together. Oh, I have a lot of rock and stuff on this main part or this main island. It's a without having to go anywhere. I have a lot of stuff like this. Main like the main island is really big. And I like that a lot. I like that the man I live is really big. I don't have to go anywhere really. It just sucks that I can't do any traveling yet. Off of the island. Oh shoot. We're still setting up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods for our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we're just but we'll try to have some fresh stock each day and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items we're t thinking of selling. Oh, I thought I could sell my items. Understand, we're not just sellers. 
We're also buying things from you, including stuff gathered on the island. And because we want to support efforts to beautify the island, we'll even pay you a little bit in return for any weeds or trash you bring in. If you want to know whether we'll buy something, just ask. See, there we go. I want to sell. I want to sell my weeds. Some clumps of weeds. 150 bells. Sold. Okay. And then I want to give him... Oh, Margo. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. I found a creature. Most splendid. Let's have a look. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a red snapper. Hmm. This island can su support a red snapper. Why, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might find living here. Margo, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, and I'd love to send it to him to for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Okay. Yeah, cause I want water, Thank you. I promise that I'll take uh, extra good care of your red snapper. Oh, that reminds me. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an aspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs and fish you catch. Yes, yes. I do hope you continue to fill it with your discoveries and share them with me too. I'm sure you'll... Oh, I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward. Hmm? Well. That seems... We've gotten pretty far in this part. Like... We've built a fishing rod? Oh, that wasn't it. Like, I built a fishing rod. Let me go sell those pears, too, because it'll actually say that I sold and I'll get some money from them. Some miles. But we built a fishing rod. I might be able... Let me see if I can build... I don't think I'll be able to yet. I don't have all the materials, plus I don't have the... I don't have it. So I'll have to learn... The shovel. I have to learn the rest of the shovel. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to tell you something about the fruit you just sold me. When you eat fruit, food like fruit, you'll find yourself energized with more power like you ha might have imagined. Has anyone shared that with you? What I mean is you can break open rocks or maybe even dig up a whole tree if you had the right to. Cool. Now, it's fine for you to sell me your fruit, but you should try eating it once in a while too. I didn't know you could dig up a whole tree. That's pretty cool. Okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. 
about the bulletin board yes i was thinking about the bulletin board but okay you guys this part was pretty good and then i may jump on again later just to do a third recording but other than that this part was pretty good sorry about all the calls i thought i silenced my phone but other than that i'm gonna have to silence it next time but yeah so this was a pretty good part we found some recipes we got our phone working this was pretty good so peace